But there's just so much more that FPA has done for me than, than, than I could have ever imagined. When I got involved with the FPA, it was suddenly like a revelation. Oh, here's the rest of my community. We are very close-knit. We're very much an organization that talks through issues, talks through problems, and works on solutions. Wow. Uh, I can't, literally can't imagine my life without FPA. The FPA has really come of age and is really serving the profession proudly. The FPA's mission is really to be the community for everyone and anyone who is involved in the financial planning process. I have to tell you that I've met many um, tax experts, attorneys, trust officers that, uh, that I'm able to use in my practice and my work with clients. Feeling connected and having a network, those would probably be the two most important benefits FPA provides for me. The relationships that I've made at the FPA have, you know, some of my best friends today. When I see one of our FPA leaders testifying before Congress, I know we've arrived. Financial planning is represented before the, the Senate Committee on Aging. Wow, obviously I was never going to get to be a part of that directly, but how rewarding to get to be part of an organization that's ultimately making that happen. When we've been called in to testify, it truly has been to be the voice of how advice should be given, which is a great opportunity for us to make our case and to, to speak the voice that uh, heretofore really has not been heard. It's the only group that I'm aware of that speaks on my behalf as a financial planner to a larger audience. The Journal of Financial Planning is the only peer-reviewed journal in our profession. I think one of the things that's unique about our profession is that we cover so many technical areas and there is at the same time a, a depth to the work that we do as, as professional advisors. And I think the journal is very sensitive to that and, and really tries to capture in its articles both that breadth and depth. And I'm reading articles and kind of nodding my head and saying, I, I can see how that applies to my practice. And I, I think that's a unique experience that you get from reading the journal. Well, if you're looking for a way to measure return on investment in your FPA membership, you don't have to look any farther than the media program. It's a home run. I had lots of opportunities to get media training, to understand what the media is looking for, it, to understand what it takes to interact with the media. I just tell clients or prospects, Google my name, and I have nine or ten pages of being either quoted here or there, or uh, articles that I've, that I've written, and I don't think that I ever would have had that opportunity had it not been for FPA. The program itself benefits on two levels. First is skills training and learning how to be competent and confident in dealing with the media. And the second is gaining access to long established reputations with various media outlets that the FBA has cultivated over the years. The great part about the communities is you're able to connect with people that you wouldn't otherwise connect with. So if I'm in San Francisco, I'm able to connect with people in New York or the middle of the country. When I want to talk about technical tax topics, and I can go find the community of interest that's focused around tax issues. But when I want to commiserate with other young planners about what they're going through and what my experience has been like going through uh, entering financial planning as a 22-year-old, I can also find that community. This pro bono and public service work that FPA and its members does burnishes the reputation of the financial planning profession, puts financial planning on the map, gives people a deeper understanding of how important this is. The benefit of, of the FPA and the FPA's involvement is now all of a sudden I have avenues that kind of facilitate my ability to be a volunteer in my own local community. The people you meet, the relationships you make, the knowledge you gain, you, you receive far more than you give. This is where those who are most passionate about the profession of financial planning come to, to test their ideas, to learn, to exchange ideas. This is where the profession is being created. And that's the way this profession has been built, is people bringing their best to the party, and the party is here. 